frustrated. Un unbelievably frustrated. Unbelievably frustrated for myself, for the players, for the fans. Um, we put everything into the game tonight. The game plan worked. Uh, it's always going to be a tough game. Um, and then we're, we're leading once again into the last minutes of the game. And we, uh, our management of the game was absolutely appalling. So I'm so frustrated with it here. It's becoming a little bit of a habit these late goals just being conceded. Yeah, absolutely. I've just spoke to the players again now. I've watched the goal back. Um, Portsmouth, Blackpool, and then today as well. You know, that's nine points in the bag in them games. You know what I mean? We should be in the playoffs now. Unfortunately, individual errors and collective errors in the second goal. Is there anything you can do to stop that? Um, it's, sometimes it's difficult, to be honest. Uh, you have to work on things, you have to show them, you have to try and improve things. Um, but fundamental individual errors, is very little you can do with that. Uh, collective errors, uh, you, can, you can certainly show that and maybe work on some, but the management of the game towards the end there was, was important. Putting the last minute of the game to one side, the rest of the game was quite good though, wasn't it? Yeah, I thought we did okay. I thought, it was, again, once again, it's a really tight game. Um, some really good performances. I was really pleased with Dutondo who played. I thought he was excellent tonight. Um, obviously he had to come off and cramp up at the end. He was cramping up at the end. And Watson as well. That's just to name a few. I thought there were some really good performances there. Uh, and I think, like I say, you win that game and you go on a run and I think we can still improve. Uh, but it becomes difficult when, when, you, when you keep shooting yourself in the foot. You've had a fair bit of bad luck against you but, since you've taken over here, but you had a little bit of good luck as well with you today. Ryan Watson's free kick. Yeah, he, he, well, you hit, we, we say to aim for that error and it went in, yeah. Looking forward to Sunday, Notts County away. They're at the bottom end of the table. It's never easy playing against those sides fighting for their lives. It's never easy at any game. I keep saying this. There's no top or bottom, middle. It doesn't matter who you're playing because the consistency of teams changes from week to week. So you can get a team that's at the bottom that plays like they're at the top and, and vice versa. So every, every game is tough. You mentioned the changes in your side today. Have you further changes on Sunday? Uh, I don't. I don't think uh, too much directly after the game because uh, about selecting the side because you're thinking of years. Particularly after that tonight, you're very so frustrated. Um, you, you know, it, it is, it is, you need to calm down, and settle down, and, and think about that tomorrow. Simone Akinola went down with what looked like a fairly innocuous challenge, but then rather quickly looked to be quite a worrying injury. Is there any early stages it can tell what it, what it is? I've not. Do you know what? I've not had a chance to speak to, to the uh, medical team yet, so I'm not quite sure. I'm ho hopefully it'll be alright, but I'm honest, I'm, I, I don't know.